What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? How are you guys doing? Uh, today, we're gonna take a first look at the brand new, just announced Polar Verity Sense. And, you know, don't let the name change confuse you. Uh, under the hood, this is very much still the Polar OH1 Plus. Uh, but with a few upgrades. And we're gonna go over why this is my favorite heart rate monitor on the market. Uh, but don't stress too much, I will find something to complain about within this review. Uh, but first, let's go over all the basic details of this device. Uh, but first, I just wanna say that this device was sent to me by Polar for the purpose of this review. Uh, I just got this heart rate meter today, um, this afternoon, so I've had very little time with it. I've only really been able to do, you know, one short run with it and one indoor bike ride. Uh, but Polar isn't sponsoring this video, uh, and they don't get to see any of this footage before you guys get to see it right here on YouTube. And I, I do try to take conflicts of interest very seriously. So if you're curious about, you know, whether you can trust me or my reviews, I did make a video talking about, you know, that very topic uh, and I'll link it up here somewhere. Uh, it's also on my channel and you can kind of find it and watch it whenever you'd like. And you know, whenever a company does send me something to review, I do try to, you know, give it away to one of you guys uh, in the form of some sort of giveaway. So stick around to the end of this video and we will talk about how you can do that. Okay, so what do you get in the box? In the box, you're gonna find the actual sensor, of course, and it's actually uh, attached to the strap. Um, it looks a lot like the OH1 Plus. Uh, the armband is slightly different. Uh, you'll also have a new goggle clip, also slightly different than the OH1 Plus clip. Uh, and then there's another clip that kind of connects to a USB outlet and that just charges the device. And all of these little pieces and bits are a little bit annoying. They're very small and easy to lose. So I do appreciate that they've kind of given us this little storage pouch, which, you know, who knows, maybe we'll lose that too. Uh, I thought the setup process was fairly easy. Um, you just Bluetooth connect the heart rate to your actual smartphone and then connect with the Polar Flow app. Uh, and it'll just kind of step you through the process. The only really kind of setup thing that you have to do is uh, establish the distance of the pool that you swim in. Um, you know, really other than that, it's just kind of rolling through some basic stuff and setting up the device within the Polar Flow app itself. Okay, the device itself is extremely light. Uh, the heart rate meter sensor itself just weighs five grams. Uh, with the arm strap, which is probably how you're gonna be using it when you're doing you know, any sort of running or cycling, it weighs you know, about 17 or 18 grams. Uh, and you know, using it with a swim clip, it only weighs about seven grams. I will say that you know, seven grams doesn't seem like much, but when it's attached to the side of a goggle strap, you know, it, that might be something that you noticed. Uh, but when you have it on the wrist or arm strap, uh, I did notice when comparing it to the old one that it was about one gram lighter for some reason. Uh, I just think it's the strap itself happens to be a little bit lighter. Um, there's also this little Velcro piece, which is kind of a nice addition to the strap, a little bit nicer than the last one. Um, but just like in the previous model, the sensor has six LEDs. And you know, just a reminder that I had extremely accurate results with the old OH1 Plus. Um, the device itself still has the one button, just like the old one, really very similar device. Uh, but when you press it, you know, what's new and what's kind of cool is that they're using the green LEDs as kind of indicator lights for which mode that you're in. One of my complaints with the old device was just not having it be very clear when it's recording or having it do certain things like that. Uh, this is much easier to operate. Um, again, you know, they could probably do more, but this is a definitely a step in the right direction. So the three modes that you can actually have it in uh, is kind of like a basic heart rate mode, which is just kind of broadcasting your heart rate to different devices. They also have a recording mode uh, and then they have a swim mode. Uh, the device is broadcasting your heart rate uh, on both Bluetooth and AMP plus radio protocols. So, you know, what's cool is it's gonna be fairly compatible with pretty much everything on the market. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that you guys will prove me wrong, you know, and feel free to do so in the comment section of this video. But for the most part, this device is gonna work with 
um, most modern devices that are out there. It also has dual Bluetooth connectivity. So uh, you can connect to a watch while at the same time connecting to an iPad that would be running Zwift or something like that. Uh, and that's pretty fantastic. That's not something that the old OH1 Plus had. And you may notice that, you know, if you look at these clips, uh, both the swim clip and the armband, that there's this little kind of uh, aluminum band, aluminum ring that goes around the inside here. And that actually boosts the Bluetooth antenna. So this device now is supposed to get up to 150 meters of distance for Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, I did try to test this. I took the old OH1 Plus with its armband and I took this with the new watch band. I connected the OH1 Plus to uh, the dark 745 and the new Verity sensor connected to the white Vantage V2. Uh, and I headed out, you know, just for a little bit and I tried to get my heart rate up. Uh, and, you know, as you can see, you know, that the range on the Verity, it does look significantly better. And I would say that, you know, as you're looking at this clip, um, GoPro footage, you know, with it being very wide, it, it makes it look like you're very far away. Uh, the reality is that I was really only about 50 meters max away when I was testing this, but you can, can tell, you know, looking at this Garmin that uh, it kind of gives out fairly early on. Um, I did not maximize the amount of range. I definitely didn't make it 150 meters away, uh, but I can tell that it is a big improvement over that older OH1 Plus. So as far as battery life goes, uh, the marketing material says that it'll go 20 hours. Uh, I didn't actually have time to test that. Hasn't been 20 hours since I've actually had the device. Uh, but you know, I do see that as some sort of an improvement over the 12 hour claim that the OH1 Plus gave us. And then the device also has a new kind of bumped up internal memory. It can actually hold 600 hours of training time, which is fantastic. Uh, the OH1 Plus was 200 hours. Uh, the device is also waterproof up to 50 meters. So, you know, of course, don't hesitate to swim with this. Uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily go like deep sea diving, but you know, I wasn't expecting you guys to do that in the first place. Um, the old OH1 Plus was 30 meters. So this device is really kind of geared towards swimmers and people that want to use a heart rate monitor while swimming. And what's interesting about this device is that while you're swimming, the device has an accelerometer and it'll actually, you know, record your heart rate, of course, uh, but it'll also record your distance that you've gone as well as your pace. And it does that kind of automatically when you're in that swim mode. So, you know, when you're setting up your device, you need to actually plug in the actual distance of the pool. It'll suggest, you know, 27 yards, which is pretty close to the pool that I swim in, which is 25 meters. Uh, now, obviously it's not gonna do things like track kick sets or drill sets or all the things that I kind of constantly complain about on this channel, uh, but it does track basic distance. And so, you know, if you don't wanna wear a watch in the pool and you just wanna wear something like this strapped to your goggle strap, this should work and it should give you a pretty strong idea of how far you've swam. Now, I've yet to actually test this device in the water. Uh, but I will add some details to the comment section of this video, you know, after I've taken it for the first swim. Uh, and, you know, I'll try and get some sort of idea on heart rate accuracy in the water, which is, you know, a pain point for all of the wrist based heart rate monitors uh, that you're probably used to. Uh, as far as price goes, um, you know, along with the feature bumps, the price of this device actually got a bump as well. The old OH1 Plus was about $80. Uh, this one they're gonna sell for $90. Uh, the H10, which is kind of their top of the line chest strap, also is $90, so you do have a bit of a choice there. If you don't like chest straps, you know, this makes a lot of sense, otherwise the H10. Uh, but also, you know, keep in mind that Polar is not gonna be selling that OH1 Plus anymore and that's still a fantastic device. And so, you know, if you don't care about any of these new features that I'm talking about, you know, you may wanna save some money. I'm guessing that we will see, you know, a little bit of a price break on that device, especially as it gets a little bit older and the device is discontinued. Okay, you know, I mentioned that I wasn't able to get out and do too many things with this heart rate monitor. Uh, however, you know, this heart rate monitor being so similar to the old OH1 Plus, in which I used extensively uh, and actually had very good luck with. Um, you know, for example, you know, here's a 10 mile run comparing the OH1 Plus to the Garmin top of the line chest strap, the HRM Pro. 
uh, you know, you, it's really hard to distinguish between these two, two devices. Uh, very good data coming from that old OH1 Plus. And I really regret not having like some swim data to show you. Uh, but as soon as I got the device in the mail, I took it out for a real short run. Uh, and again, this is that new Verity Sense from Polar versus that very same Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro. And you know, as you probably guessed, the data looks pretty good here. Uh, I would say, you know, if we're being picky, I would just say that, you know, you're always gonna get a little faster reaction, a little faster readings of changes in heart rate monitor from a chest strap compared to an optical heart rate monitor. Uh, but, you know, when you move these optical heart rate monitors up and away from the wrist joint, the data gets actually really compelling, very accurate data. And also, you know, keep in mind that this Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro, it costs $130. Uh, here's a bike session that I did, you know, right before recording this video. And again, we're comparing that same Verity Sense from Polar to the Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro. Uh, the Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro is in blue and the Verity is in purple. I put in a few hard efforts here, just kind of in the middle. And I just kind of figured that I would see a little bit of those delays in the Verity Sense, just because it is an optical heart rate monitor, but it really seems to be tracking really well. I mean it's hard to distinguish between these two data sets. And you know, also on this ride, I, I had the chance to test the dual Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, so I connected to both the Vantage V2 watch and the iPad that was running Zwift and you know, no problems at all, no problems whatsoever. Now, the biggest reason that I love these devices is just ease of use, right? They're extremely accurate heart rate monitors that are easy to just kind of like throw on last second, you know, or even like as you warm up in the middle of a workout. You know, I don't have any issues with uh, chafing or rubbing or anything like that with typical chest straps. I mean, I've had a couple of things when the plastic gets pulled out, but most heart rate monitors now have a lot softer material and I just don't have a lot of issues. And yet I still find myself gravitating towards these uh, armband heart rate monitors. I just really like the way they work. Now, you know, I don't have a ton of things that I would love to see changed about this device. You know, I mentioned that uh, you're not gonna see as fast of changes to your heart rate as you might see, you know, on a chest strap, but that's really more to do with the nature of optical heart rate monitors and less to do with, you know, one particular device. You know, if you're really curious about any of that stuff, you can look into it. Uh, I, I made a heart rate monitor technology video uh, and I will link that up here as well. And you guys can check that out whenever you have time. Uh, but I would love it if they could use this device to provide a little bit more details like um, heart rate variability metrics. Uh, which is something that you can get from the Polar H10. Uh, again, you know, I think that this is probably due to the data sampling speed of the Polar H10 versus, you know, an optical heart rate monitor. Uh, but it's definitely something that would be fantastic to see on this device. Um, another thing I would love to see changed is just, you know, the way that this clips into your goggles. Uh, it would ideally be a little bit tighter or, you know, somehow uh, figure out a way to kind of decrease the drag in the water. Um, you know, if you have this kind of strapped to your goggle, uh, what you'll notice is that, you know, after you push off the wall hard, or if you, God forbid, like dive in off the blocks or something like that, uh, that the water really is gonna pull at this heart rate monitor a little bit right at your temple, potentially even like flipping it over. Uh, so that's not great. And I'm wondering if, you know, if there was any way that they could kind of like smooth out that transition spot. You know, obviously the way to correct this is just, you know, wear a swim cap, which really takes care of the problem. So not a huge complaint, um, but I'm, I'm trying to come up with something for you guys to work on. Uh, last complaint would just be, you know, the price. You know, I would love to see this device cost a little bit less. Uh, $90 is, you know, that's getting up there. You know, there are accurate heart rate monitors on the market for less than half this price. And, you know, I'm happy to talk about those devices on this channel if you guys are interested. You know, I don't want my channel or my videos to be uh, only about the most expensive products on the market. You know, you know, not that this is the most expensive product on the market. Uh, I think that probably rests with that Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro. Uh, but overall, you know, not a ton of complaints about this device. Uh, this device is just one that, you know, I think is 
often overlooked, but I think once you've used it, once you've tried it, it is very easy to fall in love with. So, you know, I would love to send one of these to all of you guys. Uh, however, you know, that's not realistic. I have one of these and what we can do is, you know, I can pass this your way. Uh, I'd like to do a little bit more testing. I'd like to test it in the water, test it for swimming, just so I can provide a little bit more feedback to you guys. Uh, but what we can do is uh, we can let this video sit for two weeks and that gives you guys plenty of time to comment on the video. Uh, also, I would love it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, but in the comments, here's what I would like to hear. I would love to hear, you know, what the furthest distance that you've ever swam. So if that's 25 meters, then that's perfectly fine. You're still entered into the competition. Uh, but tell me down below in the comment section. And you know, it's a real fun way for me just to kind of get to know you guys a little bit better. And you know, I don't mind paying for shipping if it's, you know, going somewhere in kind of that North America area. But uh, if it does get further than that, um, I am going to ask you guys to help pay for shipping uh, just because it can get kind of expensive if this is going to Australia or someplace like that. Uh, but I will be posting the official rules for the giveaway uh, down below in the description of this video. So you guys can kind of check that out, read through all the fine details uh, and figure out if you want to participate. So to wrap it up, uh, Polar took, you know, my very favorite heart rate monitor and they went and made it better. Uh, there's not a ton of stuff to dislike about that. Um, it's a solid little device. And you know, coming up on the channel, I do have quite a few more heart rate monitor related videos coming up. So uh, be sure to follow along. And you know, most importantly, you know, don't forget to get out there, swim, bike, run, rinse, and repeat it all over again. And we will see you guys in the next video.